Hey all, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be an interesting video. I'm going to share with you some interesting, cute, simple DIYs. If you are bored at home in this lockdown, here are some simple DIY home decor ideas to try in this lockdown. I am a great fan of Pinterest and I love making these DIY projects at home. These are little joys which money can't buy you and when you make them with your own hands, the joy and pleasure you get is so amazing. Without any delay, let's start. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It means a lot to me at my initial stage and hit that bell button to get notified every time I post a video. The first DIY for today is chalk board wall. Who doesn't love blackboards? Everyone does, right? Now, if you walk into my kitchen, you can find this cute chalk paint wall. My kitchen is teeny tiny and cute. I have made one big wall as a chalkboard wall. You can make this wall very easily. All that you need is a can of chalk paint and a roller. I painted this wall long back before I started this channel so I didn't shoot the video of painting it but you can pause the video right here and see the steps on how to do it. All what you need is a can of chalk paint. I got it from Amazon. I will link all the products I have used including chalk paint in the description and if you want to buy you can use these links. Now let me tell you how to make this chalk paint wall quickly. If the color of your wall is dark, then you need to apply primer before painting the chalk paint. If it's light color, you can directly proceed with the chalk paint itself. Next, dilute the chalk paint with 20% water and apply to the clean surface using a roller. Allow it to dry for 6 hours before applying the second coat. Yes, you need to apply second coat as well. After second coat, allow it to dry for 3 days time, literally 3 days. And that's it, the chalk paint wall is ready. Let's prepare the surface by rubbing the chalk all over and erase it off with a dry cloth or duster. The wall is now ready to draw and write. How cool it is! This is damn cool and very useful. It acts as an essence wall in my kitchen, making my kitchen look cute and beautiful. And I list out everything and anything here from groceries, to-dos, important notes, how much milk I got in the entire month and anything that I have to keep a track on. I really really wanted to share this with you guys. Hope you like it and if you're planning to make your own wall and if you have any doubts, in painting it just ping me in Instagram I will help you out with your doubts this wall serves two in one purpose it acts as a decor as well as a useful blackboard to note down all the household things interesting right so make yourself one okay more interesting DIYs to come so continue watching the video I have saved the best for the last my most favorite DIY is at the end so watch the video till the end for it. Let's keep creating. The second DIY for today is this no sew cushion cover made from an old fabric cloth. This is so simple to make it just takes a minute or two to make it and look at it how beautiful it looks the color and you know the, the, the little knot in it it's really cute. All you need is a fabric cloth. You can purchase them at your local fabric store. In my case, I used an old dupatta of mine. It was a bandhani fabric and it was beautiful. So I don't want to throw it out. So I recycled it to a cushion cover. If you have nice fabric cloth, you can use them as you can uh, purchase some. Just giving it a quick iron so that it looks uh, neat and pressed. This is the cushion, I'm going to cover it. Can you see April, my dog, chew the zip of the cushion cover? And in this lockdown, I can't go out to get a new one or repair the zip. So I decided to make a no sew cushion cover for it. On top of the fabric, place the cushion at the center and fold like this. You have to fold both the sides like this. 
cover it well and fold the edges like this like how you wrap a you know gift wrapper fold both the sides like this one side is done now i'm folding the other side as well after folding both the sides bring it to the center like this and try to make a knot out of it the zip was worn out and it was really looking ugly i found this idea long back in pinterest so i thought i'll try it out today now make a nice knot tuck the excess under it so that it looks like a cute little knot and that's it our no sew cushion cover is ready how easy was that it was you know it just took a minute right and look how it looks it acts as an you know as an uh, cushion cover and you know it really goes with the orange and the golden color cushions which i already had it's it's beautiful right you don't have to throw all your old fabrics you can recycle them as a cushion cover and that too it's no sew the next diy are these rope baskets don't throw your cardboard boxes you can recycle them into these cute little rope baskets you can use them as storage baskets to store anything in my case i have kept it in my entry way to store some of our regular footwears you can design the boxes in many ways cover it with a fabric cloth or paste a beautiful coral on it you can get creative about it the options are endless now let's see how to make it you would need a cardboard box cut the top four covers of the box then a glue gun and some ropes like this now apply the glue on the box i misplaced my glue gun somewhere i couldn't find it so today i'm using the normal glue i link in the description to buy uh, the link to buy the glue gun you can go ahead and buy it at amazon and press the rope on it and go round and round the box guys this is really going to take more time but when you finish it the result looks amazing trust me press well and repeat it till you reach the top of the box continue using the ropes i have used thin ropes for this box thin ropes looks better than the thick ones so that's it i have done i have completed it now i'm going to stick a beautiful painted coral on top of the box but you can also you know cover it with a large pillow cover that is called like that will be more like a fabric box but today i would like to stick this coral because i collected few corals when i was traveling so i would like to use that on this box and this is the fabric box which i was talking is nothing but you are going to cover it with a large pillow cover that's it so this is how the box looks when it's all done the coral has been you know stuck on it and i have kept it to dry for a few seconds and now i'm storing it with some you know the footwears which i was telling so yeah this i'm using it in my entry way and look how beautiful it looks it looks really nice right the coral i really loved it down the fabric box i love this coral box it's cute the last and the final diy for today is this amazing diy vertical garden who doesn't love plants Wow, everyone does. Plants bring this positive vibes inside your house. I grew a few of them and I used to share it in my Instagram page. Making this vertical garden wall is so easy. You can hang them anywhere at your house. You can go for these low maintenance plants like spider plant, money plant, snake plant. These last longer and quite easy to maintain. or you can also hang them in your kitchen and make a beautiful herb garden like you can plant all these herbs like mint coriander it will be amazing okay now let's see what we need to make this beautiful vertical garden wall 
you would need this steel frame i got this from a local hardware store it will be mostly available in all hardware stores so you can check them out and i got these hanging pots from amazon i will uh, link the product in the description you can check it out these pots uh, last longer and they are cute and little and you have this type of hook at the back side so check it out so anyways i'll be linking the product in the description for you guys and next so the frame is here and this is where i'm going to place my uh, frame this is where i'm going to set up my vertical garden wall so now the next step is that since uh, it was in steel color i thought i would go ahead and give it a uh, black paint so i'm painting it in enamel so i'm giving a black enamel coat on top of it and let it dry while our frame is drying outside let's prepare our hanging pots this little spider baby i propagated from my spider plant look how cute this spider baby looks wow i i propagated it and i'm so happy about it you don't have to buy plants all the time if you learn how to propagate them then it's going to be really interesting and saves you a lot of money so i have done with all my plants so i potted them in these cute little pots if you are new to propagation start with money plant it's so easy to propagate them okay now our pots are ready let's fix our frame mark the points and drill some nails to hang them husband helped me out to drill and nail it fix the frame onto the wall and yeah we are ready now to hang our cute little planted pots Hang the pots one by one in the order and pattern you like to have them. And yeah, we are done with our vertical garden wall. Look how beautiful it looks. It instantly changed the vibe of this stairway. Wow, that's my baby spider plant. How beautiful it looks, right? It's seriously cute. I keep looking at it all the time since I propagated it. It's funny. So I hope you really enjoyed these DIYs today as much as I enjoyed making them. Hope they were useful for you to try out in this lockdown. These are simple DIY home decor ideas to try in this lockdown. And if you try them out, don't forget to tag me in Instagram. I would love to see your creations. Also, let me know in the comments what was your favorite DIY out of these four. If you want to see more decor videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. All products used have been linked in the description box below for you guys to check it out. Also, let me know in the comments what kind of videos you love to watch in this channel. Your suggestions are most welcome. So, that's it for today. See you next week in another interesting video. Bye.